Welcome back to Every Frame. Today I'm going to explain a 2019 sci-fi drama film called The Mandela Effect. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Brendan, a game developer, his wife Claire, and their daughter Sam are on vacation at a beach. They have a great time together, full of joy, jokes, and laughter. Sam plans to look for snails around the beach while they relax, and she promises not to play in the water. Claire agrees on the condition that Sam not go too far away from them. When Sam is looking for snails, she is unaware that the waves are dragging her curious George. Sam tries to take the doll, but she is dragged along by the waves. Brendan and Claire are devastated by Sam's death, Claire tries to move on, but Brendan, who adores his daughter, can't let her go, Brendan feels odd when he sees a book titled The Berenstain Bear while they are packing Sam's belongings, because he clearly remembers that, the book was previously titled The Berenstain Bear, with a E instead of a A. When they are sleeping, a strange sound comes from the kitchen, and it turns out to be Matt, his brother-in-law, who has come to look for food in the refrigerator. Brendan then offers him pizza and inquires about the book The Bernstein Bear. Matt responds that the title of the book is The Berenstein Bear, with the letter E. Brendan, on the other hand, shows Matt that the correct spelling is The Berenstein Bear with the letter A. Brendan searches for it on the internet out of curiosity, and it turns out that many people believe the writing in the book is the Berenstain Bear. With an E, Brendan continues to investigate until he discovers a theory that explains the incident, namely, the Mandela Effect theory. Brendan is perplexed the next day when he notices a photo of his family on the refrigerator. He asks his wife where the photo was taken, and Claire says it was taken in front of the Griffith Observatory, but Brendan is certain that they did not take photos there but rather at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle. His wife remains silent and tells him to leave because she is busy cooking. Brendan then visits Matt and discusses the Mandela Effect theory. Brendan believes he is experiencing the Mandela Effect phenomenon, but Matt denies it and claims that it is just a false memory. Brendan, on the other hand, continues to believe in his theory and believes he now lives in a parallel universe. Brendan continues to investigate these theories until he discovers on the forum that the Mandela effect is caused by a CERN experiment with a Large Hadron Collider. The experiment was carried out in Russia in 2008, and many people experienced strange phenomena one of which was the Mandela Effect. Brendan then attempts to approach a priest named Isaac in order to learn more about the existence of God. Brendan, however, does not believe that God created the world after hearing Isaac's words. Claire tries to remind Brendan not to dwell on past memories with Sam after noticing his strange behavior. Brendan needs to forget the past and start over. He then inquires of his wife about the image of the man in the Monopoly. Claire is convinced that the guy in Monopoly is wearing a monocle on one side of his eye. When she examines it, she notices that the man in the image is not wearing a monocle. Brendan also points out that the monkey character Curious George does not have a tail. However, Sam's Curious George doll has a tail. Brendan tries to explain how all of this relates to the Mandela Effect theory. Brendan believes Sam's death at the time was caused by a parallel universe version that entered the current world and shifted the actual events. Claire, on the other hand, is angry and disappointed with Brendan, who is only concerned with himself and his strange theories, preventing them from moving on. Nonetheless, Brendan is convinced that the Mandela effect exists. Brendan then delves deeper into the theory. He discovers that the Mandela Effect could occur as a result of other parallel universes interacting with the one he is currently living in. Parallel universes abound, and each parallel universe contains a different version of the current life story. He feels most likely Sam is still alive in another parallel universe. In the end, he finds the name of a scientist named Roland Fuchs, who also believes that this world is just a simulation. Brendan then tries to see Dr. Roland, but he is too busy at the time. The next day, Brendan tries to see him again. There the two of them have a chat about Roland's research. The doctor explains that his research shows that the universe is a computer simulation designed for an unknown purpose. The simulation then creates new simulations with a different version of the story every second. Mandela effect experienced by Brendan is a bug or a combination of the current simulation and other simulations. That is what causes problems in life. Brendan concludes from Roland's explanation that if this world is formed by a program, 
He can change the program using script coding so that the world runs properly and without bugs. But it appears that he will be unable to do so if he only uses a standard computer. Dr. Roland concurs that they cannot change the world with a simple computer with low specifications. Roland then demonstrates to Brendan that he and his team created the first quantum computer stored in a single university. Dr. Roland then explains that Brendan's program might be able to be run on the quantum computer. Brendan then decides to look for books on quantum computer programming and begin writing code based on them. He also combines some of his game programming code with quantum code, resulting in the creation of a new script. Brendan is surprised the next day to see Sam, who has already arrived at their home. At first, he believes it is all in his head, but in the end, he believes he is the one who brings Sam back from the parallel world. Brendan then takes advantage of the situation by having fun with his daughter. Brendan is overjoyed because he was able to replace one version of Sam's death with another. However, Brendan begins to notice something odd about Claire's behavior at this point. He realizes that Sam is still alive in the parallel version he is now seeing, but Claire has become a very stressed woman. Brendan rushes over to Dr. Roland, but he is shocked to learn that Roland committed suicide two months ago. He believes that the script he entered has a powerful Mandela effect. Brendan immediately decides to create a coding script to run the command to reinstall the universe after discovering a bug in the script. The reinstallation aims to make the universe run normally, free of bugs such as the Mandela effect. Brendan is skeptical of the script, fearing that the universe will be destroyed and unable to be recreated. Brendan, however, decides to go to the facility where the quantum computer is located and begin entering his coding script for the sake of his daughter and wife. Brendan is able to run his script, and the quantum computer begins to react. Brendan rushes away, but he notices that all of the cars in the parking lot are missing. On the bus, he notices that everyone is beginning to malfunction. He notices that the buildings are also glitching. Brendan then goes to see his family, where he notices that things have gone wrong. When he sees his wife glitch, the building goes dark. Finally, he sees two moons collide, and the entire universe vanishes into darkness. Brendan's script began to run again a moment later, and the world began to reform. Planets, microbes, viruses, sea creatures, humans, and entire cities have all returned to normal, with no other anomalies, including the Mandela effect. The scene then returns to Brendan, Claire, and Sam at the beach. When Sam goes looking for snails, Brendan calls her and tells her to leave the curious George doll, which appears to be missing its tail. Finally, while Sam goes in search of snails, Brendan keeps an eye on his daughter. There ends the movie.